What are you making now, Daddy? This is just a very quick video, nothing amazingly artistic or anything, it's just a, a little mini project I've been up to which I thought I'd share with you. Hope you enjoy it, keep watching to see what I've been doing. I've been asked by a friend of mine, Rob, to uh, help restore this old uh, magnifying glass or looking glass it's an antique it's silver um it's seen better days it's a bit battered uh it used to have quite an ornate handle on here made of a, a black wood with um some mother of pearl inlay apparently but a puppy chewed it off and it's all a little bit bent and broken but uh there is a sort of a ferrule of soft metal here and an inner rod and I suspect there was a threaded rod that ran up through the middle originally uh, right up through the middle of the handle with probably a silver pommel on the end and it all screwed together. I had a chat with him and I said I'd make just a very simple handle to go on there so uh, I took some measurements and uh, had a look through my box of blackwood you know African blackwood off cuts that I got off eBay several years ago and found a suitable piece to make a handle I decided on a teardrop shape anyway stay tuned and see how I did it it's only a quick video just a simple little project I start by marking the centers and they're slightly off center so that I ensure I turn away the sapwood I just want the black heartwood in this very high speed the lathe is I think it was almost 3000 rpm and I'm just using a spindle roughing gouge to bring it to round and uh, making sure it's got a nice round profile on the end putting my Robert Sorby Patriot chuck with the uh, zero jaws and I'm just putting that in the zero jaws and using the tail stock with a live centre on just to make sure it's uh, running true and uh, once it's tightened up I'm just checking the depth using a 4mm uh, drill bit on my Jacobs chuck in the tailstock and just drilling almost all the way through um, with drawing it just to clear any swarf brought the tailstock up into the hole I've made I'm just creating a taper now using my spindle roughing gouge now using a Robert Sorby hardwood scraper and a skew, just getting that taper just right that's got to slip into the ferrule. Just, it's not quite the right shape. So I'm just trimming off the end there. Spindle gouge, skew. Checking it again. Needs to be a much uh, narrower taper or longer taper very blunting on the tools African blackwood is I had to do a fair bit of sharpening this uh, negative rake scraper is what Robert Sorby used to call the hardwood scraper and it was designed for jobs just like this with African blackwood and it does produce a very nice cut just getting an idea of proportion there holding up the magnifying glass and creating a bit of space at the end now doing a lot more shaping of the handle trying to keep the cuts going downhill rubbing the bevel just rolling that spindle gouge round and uh, using the uh, negative rake scraper again just to neaten it all up And it does a good job this tool actually but it does need a lot of sharpening especially on African blackwood and it gives a very nice finish African blackwood the tapers just right now for that ferrule it actually sort of has quite a grab on it and here I'm just using some 120 sandpaper just to uh, get rid of any tool marks I needed to get around the end a bit more so I'm just creating a bit more clearance here using a parting tool 
and spindle gouge again a little bit more 120 and then I'm onto the turner's mesh and I just work my way through the grades with the turner's mesh finishing up with 600 then a bit of Yorkshire grip and I work that and work that and work that across the surface and then buff it all away and it gives a beautiful result no sanding sealer used just a uh, Yorkshire grit straight onto the blackwood a little bit of finishing oil now probably not needed in actual fact but it just felt right and here I'm just parting it off using a narrow parting tool then I'm just using a little wood carver's gouge just to remove the nub it's razor sharp this gouge then lots of sanding well here's what I've come up with African blackwood don't know if you can see the beautiful grain in there but it's absolutely gorgeous it polishes up very highly African blackwood luckily I've still got a few off cuts of it left but uh, lovely loads of natural oils in this you, you don't even need to add anything it will just polish and polish and polish um, but uh, it's got a four millimeter hole running almost all the way through um, because Rob's going to fit a, uh, a rod in this a sort of a tang if you like he's going to thread into that just to make it a bit stronger this bit's 5.5 millimeter to fit this tube inside the ferrule but uh, it all just slots together like that so there it is it's quite elegant um, simple but the, the thing's quite ornate so a simple handle kind of goes well with it but uh, with a metal rod up the middle to strengthen it that should be good but it's a lovely fit you know it's quite steady like that really uh, hopefully you'll be pleased with that I'll take some stills in a minute and put those up at the end uh, needed a fair bit of hand finishing uh, on the end there and uh, the way I get the final polish is using um, this which is 12,000 grade micro mesh cloth and it's fantastic on blackwood and you can uh, just with lots of hand rubbing you can get it lovely and lovely, you know, very very shiny it uh, brings it up beautifully there we are I'll put some stills up Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back soon with some more wood turning. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And thank you very much to all my subscribers. And thank you for all the lovely comments. I do appreciate them all and I try and reply to them all. If I haven't replied to a comment, it's probably because it hasn't appeared. I don't always get notification and sometimes I get notified of a comment, but I can't actually find it. More videos coming soon. And don't forget the UK and Ireland Woodturning Symposium, 15th and 16th of July.